Hello there everyone and welcome back to Italy! Or really Hearts of Iron 4 with the Blood Alone DLC in which we are playing as Italy. Now the Germans have gone to war with the good old Soviet Onion here, but uh, they're not doing so hot. We on the other hand, well I love the Middle East. Me and the Middle East, we're like bros. According to me. But, strengthen the regime. The battles for economic independence have shown the fact fascism is now a weak and soft ideology like the liberal regimes that preceded it. We should ensure that the people will never forget this. So now... Um, we can either do Mount Nolstrom, which I would like to do a lot. Super Heavy Battleship all sounds amazing. Auxiliaries. We're not really, you're literally using Militia, which I really don't like Militia at all. New Roman Citizens. Ooh, that'd be really nice. Iberian Protection. South American Alliances. That'd be really cool. All Roads Lead to Rome. Oh, we get a war goal on so many people. The King of the Skies. Now, I'll be playing Italy quite a few times, so we'll go, probably not do this route, but I'd love to do this one. Caligula's Pride. Oh my god. Minus 15% production cost for super heavy battleship holes. You know, it takes way too long to get all that stuff done and accomplished, but still. That's actually really nice to me. Um, or we do towards Greater Italy, which is the route we're going to go because... That's us. <laughs> Italian irredentism is the natural result of the betrayal to which the Italian people were subjected by the Antonin of the Great War. By right, Italy should have complete rule over the Mediterranean, and for that, we just need to expand our borders. So, at this point, we're out of guns. Really sucks. Really, really sucks. But we're probably going to go to war with the Soviet Union, too, just because, like, Germany needs your help, and they join the Allies. That's not good. Um, oh. The Reich's up here, too. So, and opening up another front would probably be good for these guys, and we could probably help grind down manpower, so. Um, we probably want to join the wars. They're going to start attacking us immediately, which is probably not great. Yeah, let's actually push in. Because if we can get that oil down here, Azerbaijan, that would be a tremendous, tremendous thing. Uh, you're going to struggle with the initial parts of some of these attacks, but that's alright. As long as we move quickly enough, that's all that really matters. Stealing their oil is what I really, really care about. As we are still attacking down here as well, like, don't get me wrong, we're still fighting all the way through Africa, and we're putting, really pulling our own weight here, so. Follow Leningrad, great! Lost. Let's take a look. Let's see, 400,000. We'll take to the UK. How many have we killed off in the UK? Well, we delivered 373,000, which is not bad. This... 400,000. So after them is done, which is actually pretty good. These guys have lost a lot of guys, though, which is quite concerning, so... They're attacking us, we're attacking them. It's just one big old love fest. You know, we love each other here. You, me, and a lot of dead guys. So we're torpedo hit chance. It's a bit ahead of time. I would like some more medium stuff here as well. We got plenty of political power though, which I do like. Uh, propaganda efforts will be okay for now. Balkan diplomacy, not super concerned. Operations, colonial management. Good to spend that regulars, but you know, whatever. Um, this is for revenge, for not letting us have our own territories back. So, because we rightfully earned these territories, if you do ask me myself. Um, over here, we are struggling like there's no tomorrow, which doesn't make any sense. But you know what? If we're struggling, I'd rather not waste any guns and let them attack us as well. Over here, though, with it, us pushing through here as well, it's definitely giving the Germans a little bit more gusto to move ahead. Doesn't help that the Germans are now at war with, I guess we are at war with as well, the Americans. Which is not good. I just think an American sub, though, that's nice. Um, Yerevan? Should be able to get that tile. We are, of course, done with our land auction as well, but, you know, whatever. What else is new? Um, they're attacking us. We're attacking them as well. So it's good stuff here. Ah. We're going to need a couple of trucks for this guy. Good. I don't think they have enough divisions on the front line anymore. Yeah, look at that. That's very weak. Over here. They're not that strong either. Um, I'm not sure what's going on, so... Should be able to take that. I'm getting that's very nice, too. Towards the Greater Italy, my friends. And we already have 38% war score for percent support. Also, unfortunately, the way the peace deals worked, I still might use the peace conferences depending on what happens. The German right got a good chunk of Ethiopia, which sucks. So, bend the bars. Um, what is this? It's claim on every Greek and Turkish coastal state in the Mediterranean. Masters of the Med. That's pretty good too. Subdue the Sentinels. A colonial empire. Oh, more non-core map would be very nice. By blood alone. I wonder where I've heard that. That'd be pretty good to do as well, just because even though we lose stability, you get more ship recovery, more war support, use comic pilots, which is okay, but we get more attack, which I do like. Heroes of the nation. We can't do either one of these two. Oh, that sucks. Devotion, huh? The man of providence. 
It's more than 0.49. Wait, where are we here? Political equilibrium, eh? Well, it's more than 0.49 on the... B oh, so we'd be really far over. Uh, more fascism. Believe, obey, fight. More recruitable population factor would be very nice. Operative slots would be very good as well. Banda call. Security militias. That's not bad, too. Less damage garrisons would be very nice. Detailing frontline troops for rear area security is a good waste of soldiers. We should form units especially for guarding the rear of the army to free up more soldiers to fight the enemy. Mm, we don't understand where their soldiers are at. But you know what? If they want to attack us and waste their own manpower, which they have plenty of, but uh, their guns as well, it's okay with us. We have only minus 17,000 guns, which we're trying to be going to be trying to be working on for the next foreseeable future. Because my God, do we need more guns? Do we not? Plenty of small airframes, improved small airframes. That is, um, um, send you go there and send half there too. Let's see over here. Perception. There you go. Got plenty of fuel. How much fuel do we actually have? 128. That's pretty darn decent. I mean, that's why I went to the Middle East. We've got all, the, pretty much the Middle Eastern Peninsula here. We got even Iraq as well. We didn't get, of course, Iran yet, but fuel up here, fuel from Turkey. I mean, we got fuel from Romania. So that's in a pretty good, pretty good spot. Well, Kiev, nice. We are really putting in the work. The Germans are so slow, but on our fronts, we are doing it very nice. Same with our production. Awesome. It's still, of course, only 41, 42, uh, Mountaineers be nice, uh, we can wait for that one too. We already grabbed what we really needed here overall. Uh, better light tanks, yeah, I guess we might as well, why not? Let them attack us, who cares? Ships are doing A-OK -okay for now, how are we doing down here? We might just want to hold, just wait and hold, because supplies I'm sure are just god freaking awful. Please, just skip it for now. Good luck. You're gonna need it for sure. Ah. What would we get here? Nice. Good. Of course, we don't go to war with Iran. We're not fighting the Mexicans now, whatever. It is what it is. Um, yeah, not bad so far. They haven't, we haven't lost Leningrad either yet, so. We're up to 34%, which is nice. They're still pushing, and they're still pushing us. Yeah, which one do we choose here? We chose that promoted. Well planned attack, huh? Got, got my snowflake. Who was it? Was it you? Uh, Albania? Sure, I'll take whatever we can get at this point. At this point, just go and grab this though. And the tank division? Nice. It's not super great. What do we have here? But one more. It's best to pull. Hopefully the Germans can deal with that as well. Um, assault battalions. More militia organization. I really don't like these. Strength of the Black sure sounds like fun. So. What is this? More non core manpower. That'd be good. Uh, Ben the Bar. Italy finds itself subjected to a prison created by the British after the Great War, and the more populous and powerful Italy becomes, the more it will suffer from its imprisonment. It's time to bend the bars of the prison to expand colonial control, Italian co colonial control even further. Oh, you betcha. Chet, you betcha. Propaganda's fine. Good sapper schools. Nice. So wait till we can improve ourselves here, too. That's what matters. I hope the German doesn't get any made. My god. These attacks are going crazy all over the place here. Keep building, 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 building. We're only minus 20,000 some odd guns, whatever. Fuel refining is good. 41, it's almost 42. I'd love to do some nuclear research, but we're not quite there yet, so. How do we bend the bars? Core territory, Venice War. 
increase artillery production? Yes. The Great War was primarily a war of artillery. We would assume that the next war will also be fought primarily by artillery. We must not allow ourselves to fall behind in the art, or in this art or field. Or expand Fulgia Farms fields. The region of Fulgia has long been the gro- Ooh. Read on that, please go ahead. Grainer that feeds all, roughly all of Italy. When the war began, we'll have to draft as many men who will work in the fields under the army. We must modernize and expand the farming in, in the area if we want to keep our population fed. Very true. Very true and very good. This is a little worrisome. You're still doing okay. Oh, hello. Convoys, yes, yes. Fuel reserves, fine, whatever. Very good. 60 days is not bad. I'm sure these guys are exhausted, so do that. But anyways. Nah, I'm going to because he can. Nice. Critical power is not bad. Upgrade time slot. Just gonna hang out for now. We don't want to cause too many casualties on our side because we've already lost half a million, which is quite a few guys. We delivered quite a few casualties to the Soviet Union as well. So uh, if you can, it says Germans are here. You should be able to take that tile out, right? No. Okay. Hold then. Well, Gary wants to send us stuff. Not bad. Um, I think we read this one last time. So do that again, please. We had Brescia Arms Factory. Italian small arms are famous throughout the entire world for their high quality. We're also ensure that we have a sufficient supply of the most modern types of weapons. If we wish to ensure that our soldiers can best any enemy on the field. Oh, that's not bad. A redirect Alpha Romeo production. For decades, Italian sports guards have been the absolute pinnacle of technology, but though the clouds of war is closing in, everyone in Italy must do their part. We cannot afford to retain pointless luxuries, and the machines of Alpha Romeo plants may be better used for military purposes, which they probably are. Um, this one's not bad. Alpine, not bad either. Uh, modernize. I forget which. One, I don't know which one is more um, useful. But I'm. Ooh, steel's nice. Do we get any steel down here? No, we don't. Strengthen Northern Italy. If you want to read about this, please go ahead. We're probably just going to go with modernize the Mezzogiorno. The south of Italy has been a prompt job for as long as we've been a unified country. But their desire to become the dominant power in the Med, all of that untapped potential must be mobilized in a new industrialization program. Ooh. <clears throat> The national design has been improved. Given what the rest of the world requires constant innovation and improvements, we don't expect to remain competitive if we rest on our laurels and must instead constantly strive for more. Developed Libya. Libya is our closest colony and the one with the highest potential. Before we can begin to fully reap the rewards of our long and hard work in pacifying the area, we must improve its infrastructure. Develop Eretria. Eretria is our oldest colony on the African continent and easily one of the most valuable. With its excellent strategic position, it can easily be built up to become a cornerstone of our colonial empire and develop Somaliland. At first glance, the region of the Horn of Africa does not seem to hold much economic or strategic potential, but with a few well-placed investments, we can turn the area into a springboard for further investments into the Indian Ocean and regional development. Our previous investments into various areas of the empire have prepared the ground for a major increase in economic output in these regions. We have but to say the word, and we can reap the rewards. Ah, uh, yes, order. you mean developing Somalia land. Nothing better than that, right? But right now, we are here. Um, this is what we're currently at. We've lost a couple of dudes. But really split between the Soviet Union, UK, and Turkey. The Germans have lost a lot of guys. Um, allies, we've actually killed more English or you know, British than the Germans have. That's kind of surprising, I'll be honest. Um, we killed more more Indians or more people from the Raj than Japan or Germany. Okay, whatever. Um, also, I did want to show you this is what we've killed off a couple Mexicans. We've killed off over four hundred sixty thousand Americans. Also, I really why I stopped. Um, we killed 800,000 Soviets. And they're about to capitulate. But at the same time, D Day has started. And. Oh boy. That's not good. That's really not good. So. Uh, strengthen the Air Force. That sucks. So we don't know. I'm going to get that. Whatever. Um, we failed two missions so far. Whatever. Don't really care. Propaganda efforts are pretty nice. We're, no, that's not bad either. Uh, expand the aluminum plant. We're not going to do that yet. Oh, also, I wanted to do this because we can proclaim Greater Italy. So, as Italy will be now known as the Greater Italian State, they become owner and control of all required states and gets cores on them. That's actually really nice, like Dalmatia, Ljubljana, Malta, Crete, Do Do Des Dodecaneso. Um, names of the states and victory points changes to Italian. 
Italia Ardenta achieved. Get more organization, 15%. It's nothing to laugh at. War support, 10% is pretty decent. And more daily compliance is super nice. Oh, very nice. Greater Italy. I love it. Foreign influence, no, thanks. Oh, we changed our flag. Benito Mussolini, very nice. Oh, is it ad interim? Um, oh, yeah, we did that. A lion tamer. Ooh, very nice. Italia Eredenta has been achieved. Today, the Italian leader Benito Mussolini has announced the start of a process to integrate areas claimed by the Italian Eredentists into the Italian state. He's proclaimed that this will strengthen Italy's position as a world power and finally unite the Italian people under one flag. Many have asked themselves if a nation as vast as this can really keep together. And only town knows what has in store for Italy. We are the new hegemons of Europe. Oh, you bet we are, as we are pushing through here. Oh, more factories, maybe a little more manpower too. No more anti air. Do we need more guns? Oh my god, no, we. Well, we'll need some, it looks like. Light tanks are not looking good, but we'll do that as well. There you go. Thank you very much. Um, other than that, not bad. We're making some subbies, chubbies, subbies, chubbies. Oh, on a battleship level three. Look at this guy. Not bad. A little slow, but not bad. That is a little worrying. We still need to take him out as well, but we'll get there. Um, my goal is just to push these guys out here. Also, you're not looking too bad yourself. Develop Somalia land. But I really wanted to show you that, uh, if you want to read this again, please go ahead, but, um, this would be really nice. Even more compliance. Oh, city and, and naval base. Oh, yes, please. Region development. Might as well. Uh, we could attack, and we do attack and do any damage. That means they will lack some supplies, and we can raid them more and harder for that, so, what if we did this? Can we do well down here? No, maybe not down here specifically, but, you know, there we go. We'll do it for a while. We'll see what we can do. If we can... Do well, then great. If not, whatever. Free France is doing okay, but we're still down here too, so. Just the biggest thing is taking out the, the Soviet Union. That is just the biggest thing right now. Because they're super close to giving up. Well, 90% of the way there, but whatever. Um, so, John boys go bye bye. Yes, not bad, not bad. It's a little worrying over here. Not bad over here. This is a little worrying as well, but you know, whatever. Um, you guys are actually done over here, which is fine. I might actually send you that direction too. Or you could go to War with Iran. We are on a little quest for oil. Is embargoing Germany. Well, that's a good reason for us to go to war then. Because you belong to us, and then we can go to war with the Raj and take out the Raj that way too. Why not? How many divisions does Iran have? Though? Up to 17, we'll be fine. Of course, we question Iranian sovereignty. Cyprus? Oh, uh, you're funny. Amphibious. Ah, uh, some dude was winning, it's not good. Cool. There we go. I'm gonna war when we really want to need to. UAE. Why would we liberate them? That is a good question. Um, uh, evade the blockade with Portuguese convoys? Well, they're at war as well. When it's lucky, we get more war support. Um. Sure. Why not? War bonds is gonna really hurt a war support. I don't really want to hurt it either. For the radios, nice. All or nothing armor scheme, not bad. It is, of course, 1943. I'm gonna say screw it. Just get 1944 sub holes. That's fine. Are we ready for fun action here? I mean, might as well. They're gonna go. I don't like this, anyways. Whatever. Post air support, 100 more. Why not? Strat bombing's not bad. White thrust. Stack them up. See what you can do about that. What's this division speed? You can go here. A little more hardness. Nice. More than night attack is good too. And you guys go like right there. Gets another board of the Soviet Union if we need it. Oh, hello, that's not good. When does National Spain do you want to come into war? Improve relations, maybe. Oh, yeah, I guess we are reading them down here, too. That makes sense. Another battleship. Come on, Soviet Union, 94% of the way there, we'll get them. They definitely won't survive here, so. Probably do the piece to all screen just a little bit too. Regional development would be nice, because I do want to show you what that decision looks like. Um, that's not bad. Prospect for oil is not bad either. 
More compliance. I love more compliance. Cruiser hole. Pretty nice. Um, but you gotta come over here too and grab all this stuff as well. Uh, it's not bad. Of course, we gotta grab some of that too. Commando training. Uh, prospect for oil. It's only 35 day focus. Yeah, our colonial police has shown itself to be a capable force thus far. With some further reforms, we'll be able to ensure that we get as much out of our colonies as we're putting in. Or strengthen the Ascari core. Our, our, our troops from the European parts of the empire often struggle in the harsh climate of Africa. The natives obviously don't suffer from the same problems. We should hire some of them to support our troops when fighting in hot climates. Nope. Commandant uh, Diavolo. During our conquest of Eritrea and our war in Ethiopia, we've often been bedeviled by the speed and tenacity of the native horsemen. Having struggled against them, we've sent again much if we can get them to come over to our side, and an enterprising officer might be able to become a very own devil commander. Uh, I would like to do these, but daily compliance is not bad. La Torriania Balbo. The roads in Libya are abysmal, even near the coast. The road network is simply unbefitting a modern country. There's much work to be done to improve this, including a large highway along the coast. Subdue the Sentinels. The next step towards the freedom and glory of the, that the Italian people deserve is to subdue the Sentinels that hold us prisoner in the Mediterranean, that is, Gibraltar and Suez, masters of the Aegean. Yes. If we want to control the Mediterranean, we must first ensure Italy's absolute supremacy over the Aegean Sea. With this, we will not only control access to the Black Sea and most of the Balkan coast, but we will also have new naval bases with which to secure the Suez Canal, which we already have. Masters of the Med. A state's power is proportional to its maritime position. It's time to claim total control of the Mediterranean. As it is the right of the Italian people to dominate the ancient sea that was the cradle of our civilization, a colonial empire. Despite the efforts of our friends and our enemies and rivals, it has become a mighty colonial empire. We must ensure not only that we make the most of our ter territories, but also that we keep expanding them control expanding Italian control in Africa by blood alone. Thanks to the power of our army and unlimited fanaticism of the Italian or dentist, loyal to a regime, Italy finally recorded signature in all of history. Not as a mere secondary actor, but as a main protagonist. Blood alone moves the wheels of history. And here we're at, everybody. Um, we're losing quite a few planes, but, you know, I'm still learning at this. Also, this is what happened when the Germans and we took out the Soviet Union. We've got Rox Komosar, it's awesome, which is kind of cool. Hinderik, very blonde guy. We just annexed a lot of Ukraine and whatnot, because I figured, why not? Um, we have the Russian Empire. And German Russia. And then a third Russia. The Lash Oda. The Russian Federation itself. And the Germans took the rest of that, so. Um, overall, it's not going too bad. We're kind of stalled out down here, but I've literally just invaded the UK ourselves. With these, I forgot that these tanks are really crappy. Um, and keep making more. So, yeah, these guys are not very good at all. Um, more motorized, honestly. Probably motorize it up. Uh, motorized, and then more. Rise and then remove that too. Um, I forgot how bad these guys were. Do we have any anti air actually? No, we don't, so let's not even do that then. Oh, we have assault battalions too that we did get. More defense, break the soft attack. Okay, sure, why not? Let's do a little bit of organization, but you get way more HP. Do you really need HP? Not really. A little more suppression. But it's sort of armor and piercing, so let's not do that. Yeah, light tanks. Probably gonna need quite a few more of them. Yeah, my bad. But go ahead. Um, let's take a look see here. So we've lost about a million guys. We've done 300,000. We lost 300,000 to 340,000 to the UK. We've killed off roughly the same amount as the Japanese after the Americans. Um, everyone else, not too bad. The Dominion of India is almost gone. We've almost killed them all. I'm taking them ourselves. We've killed off the most New Zealanders. And we're very close to the Germans in terms of going. The Germans are very disappointing. Oh god, oh, what the flip is this? Why? Japan just capitulated China before I started re uh, recording. Wang, bruh. Hirohito, why? Why would you do this to a peace deal? I don't know. The peace deals, I'll probably still use better the peace conferences. I like the new peace deal system a lot in this uh, the DLC, but some of this, I'm just like, bruh. Major bruh moments. Major bruh momentos. Right here. Ah, oh, good. And he's gone. As they should be. Nice. And hopefully. Holy crap, we lost 36. We didn't sink a carrier. That's pretty impressive. A 1940 carrier, too. Yeah, they do have a lot of planes here, and our planes are not as decent as theirs, but you know, whatever. And we just did secret weapons, too, so that is what it is. Well, London, another quest for Italy. So, we've been doing pretty darn well. I'm not sure where the planes are at, but you know what? I'm okay with that. Doing all right. Probably guys are probably gonna just die in the water, aren't they? 
Go all the way through here. Go all the way through there. Conversion speed, nice. We do have our ships here as well, so... Just raise some convoys if we can. Go ahead, guys. Get the rocket already there. Really there. Well, destroying the ships. Beautiful. We're losing a lot of planes, but whatever. We have 11 of these guys ourselves, but whatever. Ooh, this one's going to the industry. That sucks, bro. Can you get the radar? Nice. Um, Albanian fascist militia. The will created a new wing of the Italian black troops in Albania, making sure to recruit not only Italian colonists in the country, but also Albanian volunteers. Because why not? Nice. Wow. What the heck? We lost oh, quite a, three, over 340 planes. So three battleships, three carriers. Oh my gosh. That's extraordinarily costly, but we're doing well. At a very high price. Good God. The Germans mostly took out the UK. We have higher war score percentage war participation than they do. Land combat damage, 27,000. 22,000. Uh, convoy rating, 17,000. Convoy rating is less than 1,000. Enemy ships sunk, 11,000. Enemy ships, ships sunk. Twenty-five and a half. Jesus, we sunk the freaking pride of the fleet. That's like the entire navy there now has just been destroyed. Nice. Oh, there goes again there. Go, go, go. Nice. My feeling Poland's gonna be forever lost. I really need to save more on fuel, but that's alright. Worth it. You take that there and get Cardiff. I promise you. See, wolves are German allies have developed terrifyingly efficient subs in the wolf backed option to deploy them. Gotta learn from them. Expand the Air Force again? Alright, well, whatever. Oh, I can't even delete this division. That sucks, man. Oh, and now they're up here too. We almost have them. Scotland is worthless, apparently, according to the paradox. I guess they're not the population and industry as England does. And Wales definitely doesn't, but still. Let me do that. Can I recruit him again? I guess I could. Beautiful. Newcastle Falls will probably have the VP. Yeah, we do. Not bad. We took over the UK ourselves. Beautiful, my friends. But I think I'm probably going to end that, this part of the campaign here. Or just the campaign overall. Just because with them destroyed... I don't want to invade the United States, I'll be honest. I'm really not interested in that. But this has been really fun. But for my first campaign using the Blood by Blood Alone DLC for White 4, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I love what Italy can do or skip off. Because we're looking pretty darn thick. I didn't think we'd get all the way down here to Asia. But that's a really nice Italy. Really, really nice. It'll be interesting. It's kind of like a TNO Italy to a degree. I've expanded into the definitely the Middle East, but even push all the way over here. Yeah, that's pretty good. But if you enjoyed the campaign, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.